It's time for the only soldering video series on the internet, Soldering with Jesus, featuring Cardus Terminator Jesus Ornelas. And this time, you'll actually get to hear him speak. <laughs> Like, no, without laughing. <laughs> yeah, without laughing. That wasn't the original plan, but he kept talking during the shoot, so we're going to make it work. Today, we'll be showing you how to solder to several popular Cardus connectors. A female RCA jack, a male RCA plug, and a stereo quarter-inch headphone plug. In addition to a soldering iron and Cardus quadutectic solder, we'll be using this clampy thing, and one of these nasty deals that your dentist uses to make your gums bleed and then tell you it's your fault. And this time Jesus will visit a variety of exotic locations, to demonstrate that if he can do it there, you can certainly do it at your kitchen table, your garage, or your mother's basement. We'll begin with the GRFA Short, a chassis mount female RCA jack, used by many high-end manufacturers, and also loved by the DIY community. Cardus Terminator Jeff J. Jensen has prepared a piece of Cardus 2x21, a bulk cable consisting of two 21.5 gauge conductors and a shield. Notice that the shield has been spiraled around the ground conductor, and both conductors have already been tinned with solder, a process you can learn more about in a previous soldering with Jesus video. And now I present Jesus Ornelas, who's soldering on board a cruise ship in the Pacific Ocean for some yes. reason. You can see the little solder cup there, it's just upside down. I'm gonna put a little um, pre-solder in there just a little bit. Just like that. Take it out, wire it back in. Put it on the right side for the positive. And then hold it up against there and then put your tip right at the end. Boom, done. And then it'll stay there. Then you take the ground, put it in this little, little notch here, like that. Make it all nice and straight. Then you take the solder. Meet the tip and the solder at the same time, right on the ground, just like that. And it should flow inside there. And then take your tip, push it in just a little bit up against the body. Boom. Just like that. I'll add just a little bit more just to make sure. There we have it. A top notch termination by Jesus. The takeaways are to preload the solder cup for the center pin, and to make use of the notch for the ground conductor on the underside of the GRFA. Now let's terminate to an SRCA male RCA plug. Jesus' sidekick, Jeffrey Jensen, who wouldn't be too happy if he heard us calling him that, has prepared Crosslink Interconnect for this one. Crosslink is available in bulk from Cardus Audio, and is a great cable for making your own interconnects. Again, the shield has been joined with the ground conductor, and notice that the positive lead is longer, as this suits the internal dimensions of the SRCA. Set up on the beach, Jesus loads the connector into the clampy thing, and again preloads the solder cup. Put a little, little solder in the solder cup here, in the middle. So we're going to lock this in here, and then we're just going to set this down on here. Thanks to the solder already in the cup, the center pin conductor is easily attached. The ground and shield are soldered to the bridge section. Underneath, as otherwise the outer cover won't screw back on. I also could take this pick, that's what we normally do on some of them, is you stick this pick in there, you bend it back like this, when you heat it up again, it pushes it up, straight up and down against that bridge. I just can't get enough of this guy's soldering. Again, we suggest that you preload the center pin solder cup, 
and use a tool to press the ground conductor firmly against the underside of the bridge. The final connector in this already too long video is the GRQSS, Cardus Audio's quarter inch stereo headphone plug. Jesus's little body Jeff, who is not littler than Jesus, at least in terms of height, has prepared a length of 2x24M, a multi-purpose pro cable featuring two 24.5 gauge conductors and a shield. This time, the shield has been left separate, as the GRQSS is a three conductor connector, and the three wires are staggered in length, as this will suit the connector. Remember that the outer barrel on the GRQ must go on first. And let's be honest, we've all forgotten to put the outer barrel of a plug onto a cable, and did a lovely job of soldering the wires to the connector, only to realize that you have to undo it and start over. Well not Jesus. You. Stereo plugs, such as this fall into the category of TRS connectors. TRS stands for tip, ring, sleeve. Inside of the Cardus GRQSS, the center pin with the solder cup goes to the tip. The wider part above it goes to the ring, and the body connects to the sleeve. Now at his soldering station on the Death Star, Jesus doesn't find it necessary to preload the solder cup on the GRQ, but you may if you wish. He begins by soldering the tip conductor to the solder cup. Then he solders the shield to the side of the body. Meet the two together and we see a flow. And finally, the ring conductor to the wider section of the center. He does this last, as the tip and body connections hold the connector to the cable, so he can focus on the final termination. There we go. Spectacular. Jesus wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, but I'm pretty sure there was a soldering iron in his hand. You have found this video informative and helpful.